Let's flipping go! Hi everyone! How are you guys doing today? Are you guys having good holidays? Because guess what? Do I have a crazy story for you this stream. We've got some really, really exciting memes um, about to take place. Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. Um, yes, that uh, notification was not a meme, okay? Rat actually fought a deer, and I am going to tell you the story of what happened. But, not only that, right? Not only that, but I managed to actually film it. Like, not, like, I didn't, like, hold a camera, right? Um, what's the word? Um, um, I didn't, I didn't, like, hold a camera and film it, but I managed to catch it on, like, video. There was a camera that caught it because I had, like, this camera set up that was, that filmed it. Okay, so point is, I, no, I'm not going to show you guys the video. Um, it is a very hard video to watch, and I did not enjoy watching it. But that's how I know what happened. I, you'll see what I'm talking about in the story. Okay, when I tell you the story, you're going to be like, what the actual muffin? But um, it's not it's not a fun story to describe. Thankfully, I'll just preface it by saying Rat is okay. Okay? And she's not hurt. She's been taken to the vet. And she's fine. But after reviewing, like, the the security camera, like, footage or whatever, like, it was one of those little, little I, I don't know, the Ufi cameras or whatever you call them. Uh, literally, it is a miracle, like, that she is okay. I'm like, I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, she is very feisty, but she is okay. So we'll just preface it like that. But you need to hear the details of the whole... Sorry, because it is going to blow your mind. Um, anyway, how are you guys doing today? Are you guys excited? Anyone doing anything excited f or exciting for the holidays? Did you hear about this crazy winter storm that is like on its way here? Have you guys heard about this? It's supposed to be one of the biggest winter storms to hit the United States in like recent times. Uh, and I'm hearing about it, like, everywhere. I'm seeing videos everywhere. It's, it's gonna be crazy, but yes. Ugh, rat did fight a deer. And, as a side note, if you want to get some adorable merch with an adorable tough rat on it, okay, that actually literally chased the deer off, boom. Literally check it out, get it right there, um, and, like, look at that, look at that. This, this is not, this is no longer an exaggeration chat, right? Rat literally chasing, like, fighting a deer, right? Like, this is not an exaggeration, or her just taking a bite out of gingerbread man boy Halo. Okay, this is, like, is like, is crazy it's this is the truth rat is hardcore and i witness it um anyway i'm gonna tell you guys the story i hope you guys will like it but if you want to check out the holiday merch get into you know get it for christmas or something like that or for the holidays badboyhaloshop.com i think i don't know it's it's got rat on it How, what more could you ask for at this point so i'm gonna tell you guys the story um, let me tab into Minecraft. Let's get our festive music playing. Where is it? Um, where is it? Here we go. There we go. We got some festive music for the holidays. And we're going to continue our memes today. <sighs> Sorry, guys. I'm like, it's interesting because, like, ever since the event, we'll just call it the event, I literally have been so, like, I don't know what, how to s describe it, right? Um, but it has been, like, a rather, like, 
frightful thing, if that makes sense. Um, uh, where is it? Here we go. Sorry, someone sent me something. Let's do this. But it has been a rather frightful set of circumstances the like this past little bit. <sighs> so I am very happy that Rat is okay. I know it's it's when you hear the story, guys, you are gonna be like, holy crap, bad boy Halo. I understand why you are so flipping stressed. Or why you were so flipping stressed. You're literally going to say that. Um, when I tell you this story. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Here we go. Let me switch back in. Uh, chat. There we go. Uh, slash viz GMC. There we go. Alright. Everything is set up and ready to go. Sorry. Starting a little bit late. And you guys got, seriously, you guys need to hear this story. It is going to blow your mind, okay? It is, it is a crazy story. I would not believe it, okay? But I'm telling you, you will believe it when you hear it. All right, tapped in, there we go. Hi, everyone. Hello. Uh, let's go to this event spot. We are going to... We are on event right now. We are doing, by the way, Skippy and I recorded two videos yesterday. That was fun. So you should expect to see two new Skippy videos soon. Um, and I have a video that I still need to finish editing. That's on me. Um, that Skeppy is also featuring in that I think you guys are like. Thank you guys. Happy holidays, bad. Thank you so much for the streams. Oh, no problem, Cyber Dragon. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for the subs. All right. Where, wait, MCC voting award bad. You forgot again. Oh, thank you, Swazer. I will take care of that. Don't worry. Oh, sorry, guys. Just been past crazy couple days. All right, everybody listen. Yes, we have a man bun stream scheduled soon. I'm, I'm changing that. I'm changing the sub goal. You guys are a bunch of bullies. I'm raising the sub goal to, let's just make it this i don't know what's a good sub goal to do i already owe you a man bun stream i almost wrote <laughs> hot bun stream hot wing stream i'll just set the next sub goal is that okay anyone comes in and starts dropping um starts dropping flipping um what do you call it um anyone comes in and starts dropping 100 gifted subs and i'm literally changing the goal i'm gonna make it a million okay i know i already owe you so much okay i owe you so much so you need to chill all right where was i okay first things first for anyone who doesn't know we are currently building all past contestants in mcc and let's just go through them really quick uh here we go We've got Illumina, Wilbur, Tommy in it, Tubbo, Fruitberries, Green, H Bomb, Bad Boy Halo, Skeppy, Amfrost, Red Velvet Cake, Tapple. I see, I called him Viva last time, so I'm like, I was like nervous about doing that again. Tapple, Bilza, Technoblade, George, Dream, Sapnap, Carl, Quackity, S Major, Pizza Hut. My brain is not working today, chat. Leave me alone. Captain Puffy, which we built last stream. Look at how good this turned out. These horns look even better than I remember. We we literally popped off. Uh, Tina, Foolish, Puns, Amesy, and Rambo. Let's flipping go. And look, if you haven't seen me and Skeppy both have these adorable little Santa hats. Aren't they cute? And we got hot, cups of hot cocoa. Guys, I think I have to build Rat here. I mean, Rat's played in MCC before, but also Rat going hardcore like that with that deer. I think we've got to stick Rat like right here. The spot's already reserved. We'll have to do that. <laughs> On a cosplay, oh, thank you, I think. Um, okay, should I, what do you think? Should I make you guys wait 
for the rat fighting a deer story. By the way, this is not like a joke. I literally have like video evidence that rat fought the deer. I'm gonna show it to some of my friends later. What was funny in one level is I told Callahan, I was like, Callahan, oh my goodness, rat like got in a fight with a deer, got attacked by a deer. And Callahan was like, oh, did it look like this? And then he sent me a picture of his skin. He thinks he's funny. He thinks he's a funny little guy. And no, he is funny, but it, anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy that. Okay, why would you record the fight? I didn't record the fight. I happened to catch it on video. That's, it's your misunderstanding. It's, I happened, like it happened to get caught on one of my, like, like my door cams, right? You know, like those door, electronic doorbells or whatever that people have. It happened to get caught on, on something like that. And so that's like, cause where it took place, I couldn't actually see what had happened. It wasn't until I reviewed like the footage where I was like, oh my gosh. And I saw what happened, right? I like, you'll see, I'll, I'll explain it here. Um, yeah, I have like a, I have one of those, what do you call them? The Eufy doorbell cameras. I have a handful of other ones from the Eufy brand. Um, they're all right. Um, anyway, where was I? Um, not sponsored by the way. Mm. Where was I? Okay. Yeah, there's a bunch of ring type doorbell companies. I know there's ring. There's Yuffie, I think flipping, there's another company that has some. But anyway, where was I? You guys are distracting me. Do you guys wanna hear the story now? Oh my goodness, that's a, what, you know what? This'll teach you guys a lesson for picking on poor Babble Hill. You guys want the rat deer story? Boom, I'm, no, I'm kidding. I was gonna set it as like the next sub goal. Yeah, that'll teach you all for making me do the man bun stream. Shakes fist. Oh, you want me to tell the the rat fighting a deer story at the end of the stream? Oh, okay. I'll tell it at... Wait, you, you don't want it at the end? Now? Well, well you guys gotta make up your mind. At the end or now? Thank you for the five gifted, bro. Yo, Angel. Oh my goodness! Look at Rat popping up with that with that gold coin. Let's go. Thank you, for Yo, Angel. See, Rat makes the best emoji. Uh, whatever you call it. The best don donation gift. They're so cute. Now, please. I need to sleep bad. You must tell the story now! You must tell the story now. If you do not tell the story, there will be consequences. Fine, 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 fine. Actually, we should probably do a poll. Let's do a poll for who we build next. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We're not gonna do a poll for who we build next. We're gonna do a poll on whether I tell the story now or later. Mods! Someone do a poll. Also, I need someone to change their skin. Someone change their skin to Hannah. We're gonna build Hannah next. DP here. Let's do this person. You! Acquire the Hannah skin! Chop chop. Chop chop. Go ahead. Alright, well that person's changing to Hannah. We'll build Hannah next. Uh, do you... Do I have a mod to do a poll? Mod, do a poll please. Wait, is Greninja here? Someone just tagged Greninja, but I feel like, I feel like every stream you guys troll me. You, you pretend like it was first verb, then it was Greninja, and it was, a, it was another person the other day where you're like, oh, oh my goodness, Greninja is actually here. <gasps> oh my goodness, I give you VIP, but I think I'm out of them. Nah, I'm just kidding. I think I think I have some slash VIP Greninja. Alright, can anyone see him? Did that work? Uh Greninja was one of my little uh little teammates in the uh in this you guys remember that League of Minecraft thing we did? Um Greninja was was our team captain. <laughs> we carried him so hard. 
Oh my goodness. How do I set up a poll? I'm gonna set up the poll. Yeah, that'll learn you. Alright, here we go. Slash poll. How do you create it? Slash poll, open a setup menu. Here we go. Question. Dear story now or later? Actually, when should we have dear story? Now! Or after building Hannah statue. I think I need to keep you guys interested at least. I, I should make you guys like hang out a little bit. Don't you think? We can build the Hannah statue really quick. You are not disguised as Hannah! The fudge! I give you one job! This is what I have to deal with, chat. This is what I have to deal with. Alright. I'm just I'm just teasing. That's that's a friend of mine. I'm I'm just teasing him. They know. Come on, guys. Vote later. Vote later. Come on. Everybody vote for after we build Hannah. Otherwise, I might never build Hannah. Right? Think about that. If you want Hannah built, you should vote after the Hannah statue. Alright, you guys are a bunch of bullies. Haven't you ever heard of patience? Haven't you ever heard of patience? But Bad Boy Halo, I want the story now! Well, guess what? Too flippin' bad. Oh, nobody's allowed to PM me. Thank you. Uh, here we go. Alright. TP here. Alright. Alright. This is the regular Hannah skin, right? Yes, it does look like the regular Hannah skin. Perfect. Let's stick you right here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There we go. Alright, you stand there. We have a Hannah skin. You've never heard of patience? Patience is a virtue, but you did ask our opinions. No, Ents Mommy! Incorrect! Incorrect. I get- no, okay, I guess you're correct. I did ask your opinions. Dang it! Ah, this is what I get for trying to get feedback. Y'all a bunch of muffin heads. You know that, right? That'll learn ya. Fine, fine, fine. Sigh. Uh, Alright, everybody. I'm gonna tell the story while I build Hannah. Okay. This, this, I have a feeling this is gonna be a pretty easy one. Um, there we go. Wait. Okay. So I think we do like that. Yeah. Alright. Are you guys ready for the story? Are you ready for the story? Stop doing! You didn't tell us the story! Okay, fine. First, I just want to preface this story by saying unequivocally, Rat is okay. Rat is not injured. She has gone to the vet. I took her to the vet immediately. Is this the same color? Hmm. I feel like it's more of a this. Hmm. But this kind of matches the top. You know what? This will be fine. Maybe we just do... Do we just do pink? No, we can do pink for that. Okay. This will work. Alright. Um, where was I? Okay. Um... Let's just do this. Same coloring. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, in this particular situation, right? Here is the predicament. Huh. I just realized we should probably... Uh, I wonder if a different color block would make, like, better texture. Because you see how it's got, like, texture on it? Now nah, we'll figure that out later. Okay. Um... I feel like Hannah's skin is actually not going to be easy to make. I don't know why now. I feel like it's going to be challenging. Fine, fine, fine. I'll tell the story. Use red terracotta. Yeah, I was kind of feeling that. Why does that keep doing that? This is pink terracotta. Where's the red? Okay, why does it keep doing that? Oh, it's because I didn't turn on the other thing. That's why it's doing that. Okay. Dang it. I had to open up this, my mouse program. It's not worrying. Red terracotta. Uh, I don't know. I don't think you're on to something. Fine. I'll stop stalling. Okay, so... Basically, I want to preface this story by saying Rat is unequivocally 100% okay. 
Okay. She is all right. She has been to the vet and received a thorough checkup. Um, so just want to get that out of the way. You don't need to worry about her. Okay. There we go. And then what else was I going to say? Oh, you know what? I think like that. There we go. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah. The other part of this story is the following is basically here's the situation the other night i'm chilling memeing about just sort of hanging out with with some friends right when all of a sudden i'm saying to myself you know what it's time to get off head off so i say good night to the people i'm talking to right and as i say good night to them okay this is where things get a little bit memey Okay, uh, I go and Rat obviously has to do her business, right? She wants to go out. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna say goodnight to these memers. I'm gonna take Rat outside and you know, she's gonna do her business and then like, we'll, we'll go to bed, right? Th at least that's what I was thinking we were going to do. Well, sometimes your plans do not line up with what you want them to be. And so my, uh, night quickly became a lot more interesting. So here's the situation. And again, keep in mind, as I tell this story, Rat is 100% okay now. So the story, I'm gonna tell in like severe detail, right? But don't look at it in any like, don't be, oh, one second, hold back on, hold on. Sorry. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so don't look at this story with like, I'm gonna tell the story in detail, but like when I hear, when I say like, like things that you're like, oh, that sounds like scary. Like just keep in mind, she's fine. Okay, so I don't want anyone to be like, oh no, like rats potentially hurt or something like that. Okay, she's fine. I just prefacing that in case anyone starts to get a little bit worried. Okay. Anyway, here is what happened. So I go to take Rat outside. As I take Rat outside, um, I let her out. And she goes, like, running off to, to do her business, right? Well, all of a sudden, I hear this, like, rat barking at something. And I hear this, like, what sounds like an animal, like, shrieking. And at the time, I didn't know what it was, right? I thought like, it turned out it was Rat was like yip, like screaming in panic. She was really afraid, right? Um, but it sounded to me like I was hearing two separate animals, right? It sounded to me like I heard a like Rat and like another animal fighting. So then I'm like, oh my goodness, is Rat like fighting a raccoon or something like that? Is she fighting like a did she, a, she like catch a rabbit or something like that? Like, but in the moment I'm thinking, I'm thinking like a raccoon. That's what I was thinking. So I'm like, oh no, this is not good. Like, and I can't see rat cause she's like off the side around the house, right? Dude, do you not see the unsymmetrical thing? Wait, are you sick? Oh gosh, darn it. There we go. <laughs> um. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's flipping going to be like a raccoon or something, right? Which, they're, that's the last thing I wanted was to get bit by like a raccoon or something like that, because that means like rabies shots, right? And so I, but I'm like immediately like my, my fatherly instincts kick in. I got to save rat, right? My you know, Rat's my little baby, so I'm like, I gotta save her, right? She's clearly in trouble. So I'm like, all right, let's flip and go. Like, we're getting, we're going full meme, right? I'm like, let's flip and go. And I rush over uh, to save, to save Rat. I like go running and I run around the side where there's like this, this wall and the, like literally I'm running around the corner so I can't see around the corner, right? And as I run around the corner, I do not see Rat 
in a fight with like a raccoon, which is what it sounded like. I see rat in a fight with a deer. And I'm immediately like shocked because I'm not expecting to see a flipping deer in front of me. And so I like take a step back for a second. I like instantly in moments, I survey the situation, okay? There is a deer right in front of me with big ol' antlers just like, and right on the ground next to this wall is Rat, and she's like laying against the side of uh, the side of the fence, right? And I'm just like, oh my gosh! And so immediately I'm thinking like, Rat's under attack by this 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 um this deer, and I'm just like, oh my goodness, that's it! And I just like my gut instincts kick in. I just charge this flipping deer, and I start yelling, I'm like, ah! and I like raise my hands in there and I rush it, right? And the deer sees me, right? And the deer's like, oh, nah. And she, or this deer, like, turns around, like, rat's laying on the ground. Rat pops up as the deer turns around, and this big, keep in mind, it was a, it was a buck. It had big antlers. Jumps, turns around, jumps over in, like, a neighbor's yard, right? Like, hops this fence or whatever. Like, it was nothing. And then rat, like, charges the fence. And she like is like barking through the fence at where this deer is running off, right? So I'm, I'm like at the same time like, oh my gosh, rat, are you okay? Like, but she's at the same time she had just fought this deer, and she literally had just like, it had gone toe to toe with her, and she was still like ready to go. She's like, I didn't say you could walk away. And she just charged it like a maniac. Just like, bring it. Get get back here. I'm, come on. Ah, oh, it, was, it was so crazy. Anyway, so I scoop her up in my arms, right? Like the little baby she is. I pick her up. And I, I'm like, oh my goodness. And she's covered in like, in like dirt and just like, like stuff from the yard, right? Like her tail looks like it's like caked in mud right and I, I don't understand why and i'm like oh my goodness my brain's like going a mile a minute i'm like oh my goodness i think the deer like stepped on her tail because her tail is like filthy right or something and I, but she's covered in stuff and i'm just like oh my gosh like oh my goodness are you okay so i i rush her inside and i set her down and i look her over and I'm like patting her over and I'm like looking at her and I sit her down and I watch her walk and I'm doing like all this stuff. And like, I, I, I'm like, oh my goodness, is she limping? Oh no. And I'm like really like nervous. I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't see. She's so flipping fuzzy. I can't see any like marks on her. So I'm like peeking through like all of this fuzz and all of her hair to like look for like any injuries. So I'm like, oh my goodness. So I'm like checking her up and down. Oh, does she have any bruises? Da -da -da. And she's again covered in dirt, covered in like, in like little bits of leaves and things like that. And I'm just like, oh, this is not good, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to like figure out what's going on, right? So what I do is I take her and I take her upstairs and I give her a bath, like clean her up, right? And I'm making sure again that she's like, okay, checking everything out. And as I, as I, I'm like, got, I have her in the shower and I'm like showering her over and I'm looking over every inch. I find a bruise here and I find a bruise there. Uh, and she's got bruises on one side. I'm like, oh my goodness. And then I'm like, okay, like, this is not good. Like, I need to like get her to the vet, but all the vet places are closed. So I'm like, oh fudge. So I, I'm going to have to wait until they open up, you know, cause she seemed fine, right? Like she, I set her down. She was definitely shaken up. I definitely think the experience like freaked her out, out a lot. Cause she, I could tell she was shaken up. Like she was very like, she's very like anxious and like afraid. And like, she was like shaking. And she, after the adrenaline of, a, she had the adrenaline burst, she, uh, she had while attacking the deer. She was like, oh my goodness. She was afraid and she was like trying to cuddle up. And she was like, oh, I'm, I'm afraid. Like flipping this walking tree attacked me that's what she's thinking um so i'm sitting there and i'm just like oh and i'm petting her and i'm drying her off with a towel again like checking her over every inch of her i'm like oh, oh and again nothing wrong i set her down 
And I have her walk on. I'm like, oh, what if she's got like internal injuries or something? And then I'm just like, oh man, like how badly did this deer hurt her? Well, then I go and check my phone, right? Now my phone sends me little notifications whenever like it's picked up, anything's picked up on the camera. It's like, oh, it sent me one. And I go through it, right? And I see a notification uh, from... I see a notification and I, I watch the video, okay? And guess flipping what? Here is basically the breakdown of what happened. Okay, so I let Rat out. She runs around the side out of my view. She stops, sees the deer, okay? Goes, oh no, you did not come into my yard. But she like, she like stances up, right? Like she runs, stops, she like looks, she's like, she's like, what, what is that? She like looks for a second. I think she realizes what it is. And she's like, oh no, you did not come into my yard. Flipping rushes it. And this is all on the video. She's like, just charges the deer, right? And the deer is like, what the, why is this rabid like squirrel attacking me? This like little land creature, right? I'm being attacked by a, a ball of cotton, right? This fuzz ball. And is like, oh my goodness, sentient fuzz. Ah, and the deer literally lowers its antlers and like starts like, using them like between as like a shield between rat and this deer right that's literally what the uh or between rat and like it that's what this deer is doing and then flipping uh rat is like trying to like bite its legs right i don't know if she's trying to bite its legs but i can't it's hard to see like where roughly where she was at but it looked like she was like like she was literally Bobby and weaving like a little boxer just like hur, 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 hur. Like oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get your ankles right kind of thing And I'm just like rat like I'm watching this as, and I'm holding her while I'm watching this I'm like oh my gosh rat you're a lunatic Well the deer eventually it looks like it stepped on like the fuzz at the end of her tail She is a really fluffy tail and it stepped not on like the actual meaty part of the tail just enough to like catch the end of her fur. So she like pin pins her tail to the ground and she can't move, right? And then she like manages to like pull herself free and like she's trying to like get around. But at this point, the deer's like, I've had enough of you. And the deer literally takes its antlers and like hits her, like literally charges her and s hits her in the side sends her like rolling like four feet into the wall right into the fence and now that happens right and the only way I, reason i think she was saved a lot of like potential injury is because a she's very chonky so she's built like a tank right so she you know it's nice and muscular very she was just like absorbed the impact she my chonky little doggy. Um, and she's fuzzy, so she got all that fuzz, which maybe act like a cushion. I don't know. But the point is, I also, I don't think the deer was, like, trying. I think it was just, like, get away from me, you, you rabbit, or whatever. Anyway, point is, rat was, like, literally flipped, like, four feet. It was, it was horrible to watch. That was the hardest part of the video to watch, outside of, like, just because watching her get thrown like that, I was like, oh my gosh, this stupid deer. <laughs> anyway, so my little chonky fluff ball goes and um, says basically right around this point. So at, at this point, I had heard Rat like in this confrontation. And then I, right as Rat like rolls into the fence, right? And is laying down there is when I come around the corner, okay? And as I come around the corner, this is like where I saw my first sight of like rat laying on the ground. I don't know if she's okay. I don't know if she's injured. 
I see this deer and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, that's it. I, I'm like, that's it. It's flipping on. And that's when I jump into like dad boy halo mode. And I'm just like, no, you flipping don't. And I charge the deer and the deer like sees me and it's like, ah, never mind. I don't want to fight you. And the deer like pieces out, right? Anyway, so the deer chooses at that moment to basically peace out and head out. And I'm just sitting there like as I'm sitting there, I, I pick up rat and it, you know the rest of the story. I take her inside. So basically that was the action that had happened. That was the what had happened like on the uh, what I saw in the footage. So I see the footage of rat literally throwing down with this deer right and i'm just like oh my gosh like what the fudge it scared the ever-loving muffins out of me because it's like my baby here is like being attacked by some woodland critter by flipping bambi right and obviously that's not something you want to see so it was very stressful for me um to see that in my opinion i was not very very happy reviewing the footage but i will say i am very grateful that she is okay because she is okay and even though it was like very 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 stressful for me i'm i'm exceedingly exceedingly grateful that, sh that she's all right but i'm telling you guys i don't think i've ever become such so negative towards like deer now <laughs> i'm like i became like anti-deer overnight <laughs> like it's i don't know, like right like the first couple hours after that i was like oh that stupid deer that flipping deer Arr! if i had it in front of me right now I'd i was like really mad um to like a really high degree i was really upset as like obviously anybody would be and their 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 loved one essentially is like attacked by something irrationally you know it's not the deer's fault i do think it's just stayed out of this yard you know but it reminds <laughs> it reminded me of this meme i see reposted on twitter every so often where it's like you break into a your pov you break into a house and you hear a shotgun rack and it's what the muffin are you doing in my house or saying like that some of you know what i'm talking about but that's how i felt at the moment i was like this stupid deer what the muffin are you doing messing with my my adorable little lucy lou that's how i felt okay chat i was really upset with this stupid deer again i get it it's not the deer's fault it's just doing what deer do being a deer trying to be its best deer self but i was mad okay did i swear at the deer no i did not swear at the deer uh did i want to swear at the deer i'm gonna if i'm gonna be honest not really because it wasn't there so you can't really swear at it after it runs off but uh i was mad okay i was very upset with this deer anyway so point is deer zero rat one deer zero oh rat literally went toe to toe with a deer chased that sucker off well i i i like to think i chased it off and i protected her but she literally even after the deer like sent her flying you know what's funny is on the footage right as soon as like the deer like sends her flying she like gets up and you can see in her mind she like oh man this was a bad idea this thing is scaring the crap out of me i want i don't want anything like this right and then she sees me come around the corner and i charge the deer and she's like yeah back up let's flip and go let's flip and go you take the you take the top i'll take the legs that's like what she like as soon as she saw me there she's like yeah let's get it tag team tag team we'll take this deer out together she was like hype she like it was like that's all she needed to get like back in the fight because like as soon as it sent her flying she was like nah nah i don't want to mess with the deer like she's like ah this this walking tree is a lot scarier than i thought but then i show up and she's like yeah she was hype look 
Rat is an actual maniac. She's crazy. But she's my little maniac. And I'm very happy that she... You know what? I think you're right, the person who said that. I think this will look better. Um, but yeah, I'm glad she's okay. Even though I would say that, like, I thoroughly, thoroughly, like, ugh, it was super stressful. Um, like, making sure she was okay was, I think, one of the most stressful parts about the whole thing. Because, like, it wasn't until after I knew she was okay that, like, I felt better. I was, like, really stressed for a little bit when I wasn't sure, like, is she okay? Is she hurt, right? I was just trying to, like, like check her over. I was, like, really stressed out. Um, but knowing that she's okay now, it makes the story, like, okay, it's a fun story. Rat fought a deer and crushed it. Anyway, um, Bad, I don't know what to tell you, but greetings from Mexico. Thank you! Thank you very much. Um, we know how you're soon are. It took 84 years for lore. We can't wait another 84 years. Hey, come on for the story. Oh, you caught COVID. I'm sorry to hear that. Melatonio. Thank you for the dono. We have run out of patience. Thank you guys for all the messages, all the subs. Thank you, Rocky. But anyway, that's pretty much the deer, the deer situation, the deer story. Um, there's a couple more interesting details surrounding it. But again, basically, guys, Rat is actually a maniac. She literally did not care that this thing was, like, huge. She just did not care. She was like, all right, bring it. And she, like, fought this giant creature that could literally, like, 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 I don't think it would eat her, but it probably could have had it wanted to. And she just said, no, don't care. You're in my in my turf. Let's go 1v1, right? And then she regretted the 1v1. And then as soon as it was a 2v1, she was a lot more like, yeah, we got this. So, I don't know. It's funny in hindsight, and I'm much... Like, looking back at it in hindsight, it's a fun story. Even though, at the moment, it was a not very fun situation. Does that make sense, chat? How you can look back in time and, like, see something like that. That was a scary situation. You can kind of laugh about it when it ends in a positive note. Does that make sense? Um... That makes sense. I hope that makes sense, chat. Let me restart the music. Um, but anyway, yeah, I was really stressed about the whole situation, but I'm very happy it all ended in a positive note. I'm happy Rat is okay. Um, Cause otherwise guys, if Rat had like been like seriously hurt, I would have taken up bow hunting. I literally would have. Okay, I ain't playing that game, all right? Uh, yeah, I I would have literally been like, all right. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, I would have been really upset had Brat been like actually like seriously hurt or anything like that. It was it was funny for a little bit after that. I literally was like, you know what? Flipping deer. I hate deer. I literally became like anti deer in the span of like a minute. <laughs> it was like it was a little bit, a little bit like, oh, okay. I was like, all right. I see how it's going to be. You want to play that game? You want to play that game, deer? Bring it. Let's go. Hmm. I just realized this loops back around like a little, uh, what do you call it? Hey, well, what do you call those things? Like a, there's a word for it, garland? Is that what these things are called? Garlands? Garland of roses? I don't know. I'm not a mathematician, guys. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Okay. Bad, that has nothing to do with math. Okay. All right. Hmm. Tell that to my math teacher. Hmm. How about that? Um, there we go. That looks pretty good. What do you guys think? How should we polish up the front a little bit? But yeah, um, literally 
um, <laughs> his tiny dog charged exactly. The TLDR of the whole story, rat charged the deer, fought the deer, the deer fought back, and literally after the deer fought back, rat basically said like, said like, nah. And then I showed up, scared the deer off, and Rat was like, yeah, let's flip and go. So, I don't know. It all's well that ends well. Mm, that does not look good. I don't know how to add a lighter brown. This is the brown I'm adding. I don't have a lighter brown that's like, ooh, actually, hold on. Let's try this brown. Pause one. This might look better. Stripped brown oak. Well, what do you guys think? Do you guys think Rat is the toughest little, little fluffy dog in the world? I think so. I think she is. Replace black terracotta, stripped spruce. Okay, wrong one. What is this then? It is great, great terracotta. I was close. Boop. Okay, wait a minute. Undo. Dark oak. Okay. There we go. Boom. Hmm. You know what? I'm not feeling it, chat. Definitely not feeling it. I don't know why it looks different over here than it does over there. What the? I see you. Hi, Dutch. Um, I, look, Rat literally strongest little cotton ball out there. She is. Rat is hardcore, okay? Um, I can't wait to show the video to some of my friends just so they can see how tough Rat is. Ugh, it's absolutely, I'm so glad she's okay, though. Because I would just be, I would have been like, I would have been so upset. Has she been even, like, moderately hurt by the situation? But who just expects to, like, walk outside and there's just a, a deer chilling out of sight, right? Like, and that's the thing. I would have thought it would have, like, run off. Can you see the video? No. Because the video is really sad on one level. Like, it's, in hindsight, it's like, oh, good, she's okay. Wow, this dog is crazy and tough. But, like, it's still a video that I was just, like, watching it wrenches my heart. You know what I mean? So I don't want to put you guys through that. I don't want anyone to, like, watch it and be like, oh, poor rat. Because, like, she gets, like, rolled by these antlers. Right? Ugh, it's very stressful. But anyway, very, very stressful. Hmm. Should have used this spruce. This is spruce. So weird. Isn't that weird how that's like that? Hey, is there a, what is this? Spruce wood? Let's try that. That's an interesting idea. Replace gray terracotta. What if we don't do stripped? Huh. What if we do dark oak? Or no, we do spruce. Okay, you know what? What do you guys think? That might work. Looks kind of cool. Huh, I kind of like it. Sounds like my dog, she likes to run at bulls and cows. What symmetry? What symmetry? Someone in the chat keeps saying symmetry. Look, does that look symmetrical to you? Does that look symmetrical to you? Okay, flipping this look, oh, it's over here, empty over there. Literally stop. I will literally, I'm coming unglued at the person who keeps saying, but it's symmetry, but it's not, not symmetrical. Oh, I didn't even notice. Hannah's got this little, these little things in the back. Someone keeps saying that in the chat. It's driving me nuts. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not a matter of symmetry. 
Alright. You muffin head. Hmm. That definitely could look better. Thinking maybe like that. And like that. And like that. Hmm. I'm basically copying that over there. Hmm. Maybe just like that, actually. We just bring it in. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how it looks from the front. Mm, no, needs a little bit more. Cypress Squad was trolling you on prison for like two hours last night. Do you remember us? Yeah, I do. You bunch of muffin heads. That was very frustrating. I think you're so funny, don't you? Thank you, though. Thank you for the dono. All right. That looks pretty good. I think that looks good guys. I think we're gonna have to stick with this color I think it looks the best out of every color we tried. What do you think? Hmm, how to add texture though? I think we make add some of this right here No, no scratch that I think I know what we add instead This yes there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Boom. There we go. That looks good. Again, what do you think, everybody? Pretty nice, eh, hey, Dutch? Any feedback? The symmetry? What is wrong with the hair? It's not supposed to look symmetrical. Okay? See, it's not symmetrical. You bunch of muffin heads, okay? It's not supposed to be symmetrical. This looks good. I think this turned out really good. I like it. There's a block missing. Did you fix it? Okay, fine. Whoever said that, I forgive you. You're right. But anyway, so let me think. Is there any other details I'm missing? So let's do a quick run through with the rat story. For anyone who missed it, I'll just give it a quick rundown. Um, hold on. Let me shoot someone to DM. All right. I may give a quick rundown of the story. Here we go. Ready? It's late at night. I go to let Rat out. Let her outside. She runs out, runs around the side of the house. Boom. I walk out. I hear like this and like this animal yelling. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, Rat is in a fight with a flipping like raccoon. And I'm like, oh, this isn't good. I go running over. I'm face to face as I walk around the corner with this big deer with antlers, this giant buck. It looks me down and it's like, I'm like, oh my goodness, I see rat on the ground. My dad instincts kicking, the dad boy halo instincts kicking. I'm like, no, rat, I'll save you. And I charge this deer. The deer goes, ah, never mind. Turns around, jumps over, runs off. Rat goes like barking at it. She's barking through this fence. And I'm like, no rat. And I pick her up. And then I carry her back. How did it, I carry her inside, check her over, she's fine. When I review like the footage that the camera had caught, like literally she had gotten a fight with this deer. She had tried to bite its ankles, its tiny little ankles. Well, no wait, she has tiny ankles. She tried to bite this deer's ankles and literally the deer like flipped her with its antlers. But thankfully after a vet checkup, she is fine, and she's just been hanging out with me ever since. I definitely think the experience stressed her out. I'll tell- oh yeah, I took her outside later, like a little bit after, and I can definitely tell it's had an impact on her. She would not leave, like, she walked outside and just sat down. <laughs> she would not go over to where the deer was. I had to walk over there. And then as soon as I walked over there, she was like, oh, okay. And she walked over there. She like smelled all the footprints, like the little hoof marks that the deer left. She like, check that area. She's like, well, where's the deer? So she's definitely like a little bit anxious. And wouldn't you be, you walk, you're just trying to do your business. And all of a sudden like this deer like attacks you. To be fair, she may have started it, but the deer was in on like her territory. So it's kind of its fault, right? Um, I mean, all things being equal, she's okay. So, 
It's fine. Um, how did the deer get in? Dude, deer can jump really, really tall fences. You guys may not know this, but deer, like, a fence? Deer don't care about a fence. Like, they just don't care. They literally boing over it like it's nothing, okay? You're not keeping a deer out of anything outside of, like, a 10-foot fence. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness, so frustrated though. Deer are absolutely terrifying, I agree. Are you hyped for Christmas? I am! Anyone doing anything interesting for Christmas, by the way? Are you guys having, having fun? Memeing about? Deer will just jump over whatever just to get away. Yeah, the deer was, it was interesting. The deer was willing to like throw down with rat but it wasn't willing to throw down with me. And is it, someone told me it was like, it's like near the end of mating season. So bucks are like particularly aggressive. I'm just saying guys, I'm just saying it, right? I would do anything to protect my little rat. Okay, I would defend her against a hundred deers to protect her. But I'm also glad I didn't have to fight a deer. I'm glad it ran. We would be having a different we'd be telling a different story if the deer had said you know what i'm not going to run away and let's go i'll take a 1v2 i'd be telling a different story this sort of big all right guys today a deer worked me over that would be the story okay it'd be a completely different story oh man who would win i i could take it depends if i was like trying to take on a deer by myself like like just to protect myself I think the deer would work me over but if I was trying to take on the deer to protect rat I think I would take it I'd be like, I'd be like let's go because that point it's not just about me it's about protecting rat and I'd do anything to protect rat so the rose on Hannah's shoe good point there we go Actually, no, I'm gonna put a little bit higher up. We'll stick it right there. There we go. You know what? I think we could just put this. Is that what you call them? Stockings or whatever? Are they called? We can just do that with them. There we go. No, I think it looked better before. For, just for one little rose detail, there's no reason. Yeah, that. There we go. I think we're good. What do you guys think? This handle look good. I think it turned out great. One on the other side. You know what? Let's make them lighter. I think these are two. Let's get this. Can I... Ah, come on, man. Oh, dang it. I literally had it. There we go. So you hold right click and you punch. Oh, I'm so good. Let's go. Perfect. Anyway, I'm very happy with it. Um, all right. Anyway, guys, um, that was fun. I just wanted to tell you guys that story. And just know for the, like, literally for the record, rat is tough. Rat went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the deer and literally gave it the one-two buckle my shoe rat did not care okay rat saw the deer on her turf and was like nah get out of my turf right rat literally was like nope here we go bring it and like put the boxing gloves on and said boom it's on like rat is hardcore okay don't ever like think that she's not rat is like rat's the ultimate you're walking down a dark road and like you're like trying to like go into someone's area all of a sudden you hear bow, bow, and you turn around and there's just this buffalo rat and you're just like under like under the street like just looking at you eyes aglow and at that moment you realize you messed up <laughs> that's how it goes that's how it goes rat is hardcore thank you and mommy for the two gifted subs by the way i can't believe you didn't just throw the deer over the fence revenge for rat and the fence like I would have done it, but the deer 
decide to run instead of fight, so which is good. Hey man. All right. Brat is hardcore. She learned from her dad. Exactly. Brat is hardcore. And while we're on that subject, it's an amazing coincidence because Rat is on my Christmas merch. Look at it. That is literally Rat. How do I make this like as big as possible? Is there a button that will let me just like resize this past the limit? There is not. So I just have to keep doing this. Here, I'm making it big so I can show you the design. The quality will look bad because I'm zooming so much on the image. Go to the website. Actually, do this. Go to the website, badboyhaloshop.com, and just look at this adorable. Like, see? That's rat. You see that? That Those eyes, chat? That's the eyes of vengeance. That's the eyes that says it's on. Okay? Rat is hardcore. Okay? And then look, this is, this is on the back of the hoodie, and this is on the front. Look, adorable candy cane rat. So cute. She's so awesome. She's so great. Anyway, I love her. Check that out. That's my merch. Bad Boy Halo Shop, uh, shop.com. If you want to get it, let me know what you think. All right. Those are the eyes of a ruthless animal. Exactly. And me, on the other hand, I'm hardcore. I went in to save my little baby. So yeah. TLDR, rat fought a deer and won. Let's go. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to raid Ant. I'm going to end the stream here. Uh, I'm going to raid Ant. Everybody go watch Ant. He's doing a sponsored stream on Munchie. So go check him out. He's actually going to be doing some really cool stuff. Go watch Ant. He's awesome. I love him. Ant's a good friend of mine. Go hang out with him. He's going to be playing on Munchie today. Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. And I'm sorry for the short stream. I just, um, I didn't stream yesterday. Because I was so worried about Rat. And I just, I just didn't want to stream after all the stuff. And all the vet stuff just really stressed me out. Thinking of the vet. They patted her down. They said, no, she's okay. They were a little bit surprised when, like, I told them. And they were like, what? This little thing bought a deer? Are you crazy? <laughs> like, they're like, are you kidding? She weighs like as much as like the two apples or whatever. They're, they couldn't believe it. They literally could not believe it. Thank you, Aunt's Mommy, for the gifted subs. Thank you, everybody, for the gifted subs. Go hang out with Aunt. Everybody, join the raid. By the way, follow before you leave. Everybody smack the follow button. Your name will appear up there if you do. Look at it. Anyway. Bye, everyone. Yeah. I'm glad Rat's okay, too, guys. She's okay. She's she's buffy. She's fluffy and buff. Exactly. She's buffy. Let's go. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a good Christmas, holidays. I might stream tomorrow. See you guys later. Bye. Going out with Ant. I'll be there, by the way. I'll be hanging out with Ant, too. Bye, everyone.